Want to become a millionaire? Or perhaps even a multi-millionaire? Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, I've read this book with the 12 secrets that self-made multi-millionaires have, and I'll summarize it all for you. Firstly, we must believe that we're worthy to be rich. Secondly, money should not be our main motivator. Thirdly, we need to become trend spotters. This will help us know what to invest in, but not just financial investments, our career, our time. What are the important skills that you need to learn to succeed in today's changing environment? Fourthly, we must have a focus and a vivid plan. Now, fifthly is all about compounding interest, baby. Yes, that's about getting something in and over time your investment increases in value. You may want to try something like a tracker on the FTSE 500 or the Dow Jones, for example. Whatever you do, don't use credit to invest in a depreciating asset. That's not a way to become a multi-millionaire. Step back, talking about budgeting. Almost you want to first get your cash and pay for survival. That's things like food and shelter. After that, we then think about stability. So that would be things like medical insurance or having three to six months worth of income in the bank account so that you can survive if something unexpected happens. Overflow cash after that point should go about increasing our standard of living. And that would be having things like holidays and the type of home you have. Whatever you do, don't aim to keep up with the Joneses, the people next door. They could always refinance after all. And the final step after you've got those three things filled is about having income giving you financial security, ideally passive income, so that you will in essence be able to choose to work or not. Now the sixth point is to make it on your own. And when you do that, you may have offspring, good for you, but teach your children to earn on their own and survive on their own, not become dependent. So the saying is, give them wings, not things. After all, when we've done a hard day's work, we've wind up purchasing something and we know we've earned it ourselves. It feels better than it just being given to you. Seventhly, be comfortable with risk in part because change is inevitable. Eighthly, we need to live below our means. Status is not important. If you have a strong sense of self-respect, you can easily possess a mod modest image and it'll allow you to invest. There was a lovely story about somebody who just moved into this rich area showing off his wine. Oh, this one's worth $20,000 and a mod modestly dressed farmer who actually happened to be the richest person in the room said, okay, crack it open then. And the guy's face went ashen white. So no, no, it's for a show. So well, why, why? Life's for living. I don't drink too much wine and I wouldn't suggest drinking 20,000 pound worth bottles of wine, but I'm not a multi-millionaire yet. Next, is about maximizing time and resources. Now there's this saying about specializing before you diversify too much. And that comes back to your vivid plan. We don't want to just aim to trade hours for dollars. We want to ideally invest in rapidly growing businesses. Tenthly, have a mindset of being a free agent rather than an employee. Work does need to be fun after all. Eleventhly, in life, persistence is key. Now that's also pacing yourself and having the patience to know that your investments will reap rewards down the line. Failure is simply delay, never defeat unless you give up. Twelfthly, life is not a treasure hunt. Life is the treasure itself. Every day is happiness, so enjoy it. And if you're feeling good, stick a like to this video as well. Overall, we want to be cool, calm, and competent under fire. So get comfortable with the unfamiliar. Don't have a victim mindset. Go out, do new things. Try to make 
one new friend a month, listen to the wisdom of others. And the overall saying would be, expect the best, plan for the worst, and prepare to be pleasantly surprised. I'll see you next time.